Hello Zany friends and welcome to another book review. Today I'm talking about The June Boys by Kurt Stevens. This book, the premise was so interesting. So basically every uh, year, I'm gonna say or so, um, it basically over the course of 10 years, someone would kidnap three boys and then 13 months later they would return them. And there was a big mystery surrounding who did it because it was happening for so long. So finally this year, not only did uh, the main character's cousin get kidnapped, but 12 months later, one of the boys ends up dead. So there's this kind of heightened sense of what has happened to these boys and why did the pattern break? Why is there all of a sudden a killing? So the main character is very, very upset about the fact that her cousin might be dead also, and they just haven't found him. But also when this little boy who is killed was found, there's a keychain in his mouth that is the same keychain she has. And she knows that keychain was, was uh, owned by her cousin. So she thinks her cousin put it there as a clue. So this kind of starts this whole thing about like, who was it? that kidnapped these boys for so long and what happened to them and where are they now that's part of it and the other part of it is actually told from the viewpoint of the cousin and it's told through what's called the elizabeth letters which i'm not going to tell you why it's called that because it's actually kind of interesting and it's revealed at the end it's not like a big like oh, no way but no it, it totally makes sense why they're called the elizabeth letters so if you can figure that out let me know below so it's told by him through these letters and like drawings. Now for me that part was really not the most enjoyable because I got an advanced reader copy digitally and the formatting was so messed up that I couldn't tell what the pictures were of half the time and the sentences and the paragraphs were out of order so I had to kind of piece it back through so that was not the most enjoyable experience for me but if you guys purchase the book or get it from your library it probably will not be like that which means you will have a better time reading it than I did. So that's one of the reasons why I had to knock it down a few because I was lost half the time of what was happening especially because the timeline doesn't exactly match up as you're reading it and that's not really a spoiler either you can figure that out within like the first couple chapters because th there are people referenced in the letters and in the story and you're like how are they in two places at the same time because it's a time lapse kind of thing you like it's, it's not happening at the same time that like I said is not a spoiler but it does kind of lend itself to what is happening inside and out. Yes, it's a thriller. Yes, it is a little interesting. And yes, there are some things that made me go, ew, like, like just from a survivalist perspective, um, there are some things that made me go, ew. But I thought it was really well written. I thought it was a, it was a good book. I gave it four stars because I felt like the actual story of it was just really intriguing. Now I was a tiny bit disappointed at the ending because I was like, okay, I kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> I understand it, but that kind of came out of nowhere. That's not to say that it, it is a bad book, but I just, I, I wasn't as like excited about the ending as I think I should have been. So keep that in mind too as you're reading it, but it is very good and I gave it four stars. This month seems to be very high in my ratings. Usually I'm more middle line and this month it's just, I read a lot of good books. I don't know. Uh, so if you're interested in June Boys, I'm going to put the information down below for you. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany.